All right, guys, so we got the new 99 Team Builders and Hockey Ultimate Team featuring Nick Bustad, Grimson, and Pareko. I was able to make one of them, so I made Nick Bustad. I wanted to try him out, so we are going to debut him in Hut Champs here, and uh, let's just get right into it, guys. So here is the abilities we're going to throw on. We are, like we did for the uh, the other debut for Char, we're going to throw everything on him for the first couple games just to get a full sense of, you know, everything's on. He's a fully, in, uh, fully functional, operational battle station, so we're going to put all of that on it's gonna cost about 19 we got a light work post to post and then we'll throw some uh we'll throw wheels on a couple other players like mckinnon we'll also throw it on mcdavid as i really think that that's essentially the only really good ones left now still they're, i mean they're all pretty good but there's just a few that are a little bit of cut above essentially all right guys so here he is all right nick Bustad. he's got 99 everything he's got close quarters big rig elite edges quick draw tape to tape and no contest on him he's gonna be playing on every single you know power play as well as penalty kill so we're gonna get a sense in all three areas of his gameplay and how he plays all right let's see how he plays in hot champs nick Bustad. i'm not gonna lie I probably given over again looking at Pareko a little bit more either one I just think that Pareko might have a little bit of an advantage because um there isn't really any right-handed defenseman that can be as good as him maybe maybe uh Hamilton but here we go the debut of Nick Bustad all right into the zone here nice little agility on the guy Let's see if he can get back all right good little steal against Panarin all right maybe an opportunity behind the net let's go the huge reach in close quarters a view stat in his debut. Okay, all right. So far, so good for Nick Bustad. Again, obviously an easier goal to score in an NHL 22, but when you have someone with a huge reach, it just makes those wrap far side goals a little bit easier. And we're off and running here. This guy likes to dump and chase. I respect it, but unfortunately, it's just not a very good way to uh, maintain the puck at all in NHL 22. Another draw win for Bustad. Dude, I love a good four man. Or I love a good five man trap at the line. Let me tell you, Chara is still one of my favorite cards. By the way, guys, like if you have not tried out Chara, do what you can to get him. All right, get him out there in the offensive for an offensive zone draw. The only thing I will say is I really don't like right handed centermen. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But I don't know what it is about right handed centermen. I'm just not a fan of. I actually did that same move and uh, lost it there. So. Um... You know, just a tie or just a toss up, I guess, but that one goes wide off McKinnon. Where are you? There we go. See if we can get behind the net again with Bustad. He'll chase me. Come on, this way. This way. Come here. He's not going to switch. Oh, uh, so bumped, bumped off the puck and still had it. Like, I didn't lose it at all there. So. Again, that's what huge feature of having someone who's like 6'6", is that no matter how big the opponent is, like unless they have truculence, you're really not going to get bumped off the puck. And you saw it there. I didn't lose the puck on there. I lost it on the goalie. Rebound to Thornton, maybe? Nope. Like, that was Truba. Try it again. Yeah, but I need you to hit the net, buddy. All right, he's straight back. He did backhand straight back, so we're going to do tie up here. Yeah, and we win it. Or, of course, we don't. I don't know if he lost that or if... Let's see if we can get one more opportunity in tight. Oh, uh, not ideal there. Thought I had that covered. That's tough. Thought I had that covered. Oh, good. That's how she goes sometimes. Yeah, I had, had Zabinijad covered, but not Messier there. So, good goal by him. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I was force feeding one player the entire period, but God, that's frustrating. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's give it a shot a shot. <laughs> shot a shot. Good stick there from Bustad. Bad attempt at Deke by me, though. Big save there on light work. Let's go. All right, we're going to try a tie-up again. Dude, the stick in physics on tie-ups are brutal because your stick just clangs around with the opponent. All right, like, I've said this before. I think stick in physics is a great addition to the game. 
it just it was it's it's been awful this year like i think that once they iron it out a little bit more it'll be better but oh, i queued that up oh big save and tight on beast out there let's get a one-timer off tip in front maybe nope that's becoming extremely frustrating rebound oh my god looking for a tip Let's go. All right, big goal from Matt. He's there. We take it. We take it. We take it. Nice save, right? All right, penalty. We're going to see how he plays on the penalty kill now. Kill this one off. All right. He's got quick draw, so tie up. Yeah, we win it. There we go. All right, so we take advantage of uh, the silver quick draw right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I want to spin right around him there. Char, get back. Thank you. Let's see. I want to see the full speed. Can we beat him? No. Didn't really get all the... Char is just a menace, bro. Oh my goodness, so got to use Big Rig a little bit there, just drove it wide, but not a bad showing shorthanded by Bustad, not a bad showing. All right, all right, let's come out here early in the third and end this one. We need Bustad to put on a big show here in the third. He's already got a goal. All right, here we go. Still shorthand thing for like a second. Obviously still really good on the draws. All right, here we go. I want to see top end speed. I want to see some deeks, see how he feels. Like Chara, for whatever reason, when I did Chara's debut and ever since I've used him, he just feels really agile, which is crazy because he's six foot nine. It's so frustrating winning a tie up draw and that happening. So frustrating. All right, you say get going. Yeah, he doesn't feel super fast, even though he has 99 speed, but you, his size, you definitely notice. Chara just absolutely blows him by there. And then behind the net, obviously. He's... Let's go! He is quick side to side. Left and right right there. The cut back behind the net. That felt quick. His, like, Deeks and, and the L2, like, the half spin, not feeling as, as crisp as I as I wanted him to. But right here, he felt fast making that cut. All right, so two points for Bustad so far in his debut. We'll take it. One T is probably the most satisfying sounding like X Factor. Like when you get all of it, you just hammers it. Another tie up dryer. Dude, this is so frustrating. Nice stick lift. Go behind the net to Bustad. All right, McDavid's gonna take it. Let's see the one time. Let's get the one timer from him. That's a bad force. Get going, get going. There's a missile right there. Let's go, Bustad. Already finds the open lane. Oh, that might be it, too. A little three point night for Bustad. It might be over. And there he goes. All right, the rage quit when the Bustad, with the Bustad goal. We love that. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of the numbers there. As, uh, yeah, so end to end speed didn't really feel 99. Now we'll take a look at this guy's team. Um, he had a full Ranger squad, which, you know, I love that. I love seeing theme teams, not gonna lie. I just wanna see some of, like, if he was using, like, yeah, so his players weren't even that fast. Like, he didn't have he's not even using like the 99s he's legit using just like a lot of the yeah a lot of just the i, I give i'll leave a lot of respect to this guy's team he's using he's using a full ranger squad love that but that means Bustad was just kind of getting caught now i had him out there a lot so his energy was really low um but you see there the two goals the three shots or the three the three points plus two he had five shots and i held the puck with him for like five minutes there uh amazing when he was trying to when he got when he was trying to get bumped off the puck he didn't lose it at all and then side to side i definitely felt that but the uh yeah the agility with like the deeks and things like that and his top end speed not gonna lie not super impressed with it and especially considering this guy's team so guys we got to talk just about the cost right so one of these team builder cards i said this in my video if you don't have any of the 98s i would not strive to try and make them because by the time that you actually acquire all the cards to actually make these team builders you're gonna it's gonna be september 
September. Uh, now, if you have two, I would definitely make one. Um, again, it's not, you will not return the same value. If you have Cobert and Primo, if they are on your first lines, then you are, it's not going to be worth it for you. But if they are falling further and further in your lineup because you've been playing all year, go ahead. I would honestly take Pareko. I haven't used Pareko yet, but just judging the position and everything like that, there's a few other centermen that you could use. And like I said, Bustad did not feel super fast. I did not feel the 99 speed and his agility wasn't anything crazy. However, he was extremely good. That's not to say that he's not very, very good. Um, but I just think that Pareko is probably the better value for you guys uh, because right-handed defenseman, literally the only better card that you could get would be like Dougie Hamilton. And that's if he gets a 99. I'm sure he will at some point, but that's pretty much it. Um, there's a few other guys, obviously, but those aren't guaranteed. Uh, but yeah, it will cost just an exceptional amount. In terms of uh, in terms of my, my rating, what do I give out of 10 for Bustad? I'll give him an 8. Maybe a 7.5 because it costs about 1.5 million in coins, but I'll give him I'll give him an 8. I think that he played fine. Um, he did everything I expected him to do. He was extremely difficult to knock off the puck. Um, his top end speed, I did not notice, which kind of sucks a little bit, but everything else, he was dynamite on the draw, and uh, side to side was, was quick enough, and uh, again, he found the open lanes, so there is that. Guys, let me know what you think. If you've made any team builders down below, I'd love to hear your thoughts on them, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.